My name is Jimmy Adams. I had spent eight years in the financial markets. I had invested money personally for two large insurance companies and subsequently I worked for a firm that invested money for banks, insurance companies, pension funds and other large institutions. The name of the book is Waffle Street, The Confession and Rehabilitation of a Financier. After I was laid off in early 2009, I decided that I needed a break from finance. I, I didn't want anything to do with investing for a while. Uh, the market was so tumultuous and the rules were constantly changing. I didn't want to get back into that game until I understood it better. And quite frankly, I wasn't sure I'd ever get back into it. So I ended up applying to uh, several fast food restaurants and, and none of them would hire me. The reason why I applied to fast food restaurants was because I wanted to engage in a field that was in the first place wholly unrelated to finance and secondly something that felt a lot more like honest work. I had spent the last two years trying to uh, assuage uh, investor concerns uh, about the, the markets and uh, after a while, I, I wondered if I was adding any real value. So I wanted to try a job that, um, you know, where I could feel like I was adding real value for customers. Well, after several uh, failed attempts to, to land uh, jobs at certain major chains, um, I was hired to work in the graveyard shift uh, from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. in a 24-hour uh, a diner. Edward was the head chef on the third shift and he'd been at the restaurant for five years. Really colorful personality. He'd had a very uh, tough life, a lot tougher than mine. I was uh, not expecting it at all, but he became sort of a mentor, and in some respects sort of a, a role model for me. He had a lot of uh, wisdom and insight, in the basic principles of, of economics that had eluded me, things that I had never learned. Working the graveyard shift you know, after the bars close, people come in on the weekends and some very uh, interesting things happen that make for some very humorous anecdotes. So I started accumulating all of these, you know, funny stories and I recorded them and uh, in many cases I was sort of the butt of the joke um, because I, I was just such a fish out of water. When you spent eight years sitting at a computer terminal or just being on conference calls with, with large institutions for whom you're investing money, um, that doesn't really prepare you to do a lot of uh, kitchen and restaurant related work. What I tried to do in Waffle Street was dust off some of these great classic common sense theories of how the world of money actually works, but using the vehicle of these uh, humorous anecdotes to deliver it. In point of fact, I didn't set out to write a, you know, a book that had any real financial or economic angle to it. I just wanted to entertain people, um, maybe let them have some fun at, at the expense of one of the, the people that was responsible for this crisis and this you know, kind of stagnant economy that we're in right now. I hope what I've been able to do is to meld a pretty entertaining uh, sort of personal narrative uh, along with uh, sort of a foundation in, in financial education. But in order to make it appealing for people, it has to be fun. And Waffle Street's just a very fun ride. Uh, people that have zero interest in, in money will still enjoy seeing what happens when uh, um, a somewhat arrogant person, namely uh, the author, uh, yours truly, uh, gets an honest job for a change and you know just gets a lot of enlightenment at the hands of people that had a lot less opportunities in life than he did.